The latest on the shocking killing of the high school math teacher, a 14-year-old student you see there under arrest right now. And ABC's Gio Benitez is live in Danvers, Massachusetts with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. That beloved teacher, just 24 years old, her accused murderer, a JV soccer player here at the school. He had just transferred here from Tennessee. Investigators say Philip Chisholm killed Colleen Ritzer around 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, reportedly with a box cutter in the school's faculty bathroom, and that surveillance cameras show him using what appears to be a recycling bin to move her body to the woods. She was just a young, caring girl that had the whole world ahead of her, and to be taken just so tragically, it's awful. By 6 p.m., Chisholm was reported missing. When he didn't show up to soccer practice, these students telling us they searched for him all night. At first we thought he was either abducted or just gone missing. Sources say he had gone to a nearby movie theater to watch a Woody Allen movie. By 11 p.m., Colleen Ritzer was also reported missing. That's when police went to investigate and found her body. An hour and a half later, Chisholm was spotted walking on the side of a busy road. And after questioning by police, arrested. This is the of Chisholm, he has been charged as an adult with Ritzer's murder. His mother in tears, Chisholm pleading not guilty. Sadly, Miss Ritzer's final tweet was about Monday's school shooting in Nevada. Another student allegedly killing a math teacher there. Ritzer called it simply devastating. She could find joy in anything and she brought so much joy into my life. At game one of the World Series, a moment of silence in her honor. And this morning, we still don't know why this 14-year-old would have allegedly killed his own teacher, George. Okay, Gio, thanks. Let's get more on this now from ABC News consultant Brad Garrett, former special agent with the, the FBI. And, and, and Brad, let's start out. This is very different from the shooting we saw earlier in the week. This time, not a random spree, the teacher, the sole target. Yes, this is a focused attack. I would assume that this kid's motive might be sexual, it might be a revenge, but it was definitely focused just at the teacher. And my sense is the murder part of it may be secondary, that whatever he did, if this was a sexual assault, for example, that like so many people, they realize what they've done, how much trouble they're in, and they try to get rid of and the And you say evidence. the use of this box cutter is significant. I think so, only because people who tend to kill with items that may be readily available, like box cutters in the school, that the murder is secondary. It's like he realized once he got into this that he was in so much trouble, I got to get rid of this woman. And that's when it happened. One thing investigators no doubt going to be looking at possible mental health issues? I think so. George, people don't all of a sudden just do this. This is a buildup over a number of months or maybe years from depression to isolation to desperation. I mean, you have to be big time narcissistic and not be able to think about or have any empathy about other people to commit these type of acts. So this kid was really had gone inside himself. And I think that's the big problem. Okay, Brad Garrett, thanks very much.